Hey everyone, so I have a little bit of time before I have to pick up little man from school and then take him to Greek school and they have a performance tonight and all of this stuff and I've been working my butt off all day long. Um, so I have a little bit of time and I decided I'm going to take a quick run through the barn in the house. You know, the church thrift store. So let's uh, see if we can find anything. I was just thinking, I don't have any of my UV lights with me. I have two, not one, but two UV lights. And uh, I have none of them with me. Good job, Theody. So anything that I suspect, I will have to go on my own intuition. And I hate doing that. <sighs> oh, well. All right, let's go. We're almost there. All right, we're here. Let's go in. I'm loving this little doggy sugar shaker. It appears the cork is inside, unfortunately. I mean, not the end of the world. You can get it out. I have some trivets. Always looking for old Christmas, old, old Christmas. And nothing is really catching my eye. This ruby red candlestick looks good until I see it's from Avon and it was a cologne. And it's like a thing. I looked it up. Here's this like tin angel candle holder. This is a really nice little picture. It's something college. So this was somebody's like class piece when they initialed it. That's really cool. This is my contemplation hand hand movements. This looks very sweet and delicate. Royal Winton, made in England. A big old boat for $10. I want to see if that was metal. <laughs> it's ceramic. I'm always looking for metal hand-painted vintage trees for my mom. The older, the better. She's a big fan of the 20s and 30s vintage, vintage painted trees. Oh, coffee in German. This ceramic jar, $2. I'm going to assume that's German. Maybe not, though. That might be quite the assumption, but it's written in German. Oh, that shaker looks pretty old, too. Right there, that drink shaker. Shiny toaster. This decorative glass piece, I don't even see. I don't see a pontal scar. I could be wrong. I see no markings, so I have no idea. I don't like where it was up top, so I'm going to leave it right there. That looks safer. Oh, I just bought one of these. Eh, all right.
right, for 50 cents more. Actually, mine was Pyrex, so I feel better about it. Look how cute this is. I can't even take it with the little umbrella. The I look at these things every single time, like hoping they're like Tupperware or something or Rubbermaid, but there's no markings on them at all. That's why I keep leaving them, and they're, they keep being here every time. This cut glass pic pitcher is actually gorgeous. And I might see if that's there next time too. This carved wood piece looks African or South American. There's no markings. I'm looking for Pyrex mugs. I never found any here though. This um, cubist style, I know sells for a lot of money. made in japan it looks very interesting but it's not that old oh this little guy's cute extra virgin olive oil and look at that tuscany that's super sweet and they only want a dollar for it <laughs> that's pretty great i like it I can never tell if these are like actual depression glass or an imitation. I think I've probably picked them up every single time I've been here. I have no idea. They probably are. Knowing me. Oh, these are cute. They have like a reverse hobnail, like little dimples. Let's see what new stuff we have here that I haven't seen before. Some things do stay here forever and oh, I can't remember who makes this. I just saw a green one of these in a live auction. I cannot remember who makes that. Five dollars. Oh, because it's collector. I'm trying to see a year on this, but I don't see it. But I think I think applause is an old. Unless they still make them. I just remember them from my childhood, but that's, a, that, that's an adorable mug. Now, this I have seen every single time I come here. And then I saw something similar at another thrift store the first day I saw this one. And now I'm just intrigued. And now I, I might just get it. I, th I think I might. Enough is enough. And here is a big giant tub of Crayola brand crayons in a carrying case. There is no price on it. Let's see what it looks like inside. If there are any missing or it looks pretty good to me. I think that's a great big old tub of crayons. I'm trying to check this out up here because it looks interesting. It's ceramic with a lid, and it's actually too heavy for me to pick up with one hand, so I'm just leaving it there. I don't really like it anyway. I was just curious about it, but I think the crayons come with us. Look at the old foam. Not rotary, but super cool. And priced only at five, so they're not trying to extort anyone, which is awesome. 
that I've looked at before. It's French. I wonder what this is. Let's see. I have to move a couple pieces first. What is this guy? A dollar. Okay. I'm just trying to see if this is anything special. It looks very pretty. And there's only a number, so that doesn't actually help me at all. So back it goes, as well as everything that was on top of it. And these, I'm wondering if they're rubber made or Tupperware. And they are not. And I can't even tell if this top one actually goes, but yeah, it does, because it's the same marking. I just don't know what it is. These look like crystal. No markings. But what I really want to see is behind here, because I want to see if it has my federal law stuff. Look how pretty that is. It's a centennial bottle. And let's look at the bottom. It's very hard to make out. It's sorry for the wonderful camera work that you're getting right now, but I'm really trying to read the bottom of this. And it's like so smoothed out, it's hard to read, but um, I have finally determined that it does not say the federal law thing, but I'm seeing why, because it's 1969, so that's five years after the federal law thing. These look kind of awesome. These handmade ceramic candle holders, a dollar each. This thing is $10, why? They just price everything so cheap, I just always have to see, oh, no. No, <laughs> that's not, that does not make it worth $10. I'm sorry. But these guys, these are special. And look at, look at this, just sitting here all alone with no lid and it's only a dollar. Short contemplation. Let's pretend to look at this cute dolphin for a dollar. And this Balik, we're not pretending. We're actually looking at the Balik. We're actually looking at the Balik. This is a more modern Balik though. Now, this is an English piece that often gets mistaken for a Capa de Monte, but it's something called Thorley Bone China and it is out of England. So it is not Italian, not even Italian. So big difference there. And this, Austria. I would hope it's made in Austria, but not always. Made in China. Always looking for metal trays. Let's see what we got down here. Or super, super cool plastic vintage trays for me. This one looks kind of cool, but they also want $5 for it, which actually seems a little steep for this place. And I don't know, it's not that cool. Let's see if I can flip it over one-handed to see if there are markings on the back. <laughs> uh, wow, there's a blank space where a marking would be. So I'm gonna pass on this one, I think. And now I gotta put everything back, okay. This little dog is super cute. This is a Schmidt. It's a music box. Now she looks old, but what do I know? And there's no marking, so I don't know. But I do know this is an Ellie Smith Moon and Stars jar, and they only want $3 for it. That's a really like large piece to commit to, I feel like. But it's lovely. It's lovely, and oh my goodness, guys. Look at this beautiful set. Okay, and that is an L in a single circle. So that is Libby, 1955 to 1960. It's the whole set. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to be good. Don't eat it. This looks cute. No, big chip. Never mind. And this ice bucket across the way is catching my eye. I don't know how I missed it the first time. 
if it was there i don't even know and i'm trying to figure out if it is vintage or a reproduction and uh, from the bottom and from the screws and stuff um i don't know i think it's it's pretty late and this bowl catches my eye every single time i'm here for two dollars i think my mom would like it and i i see let me show you the sun is terrible oh my goodness oh my goodness let me swing around all right so i see the 68 right and i'm all excited Woo -woo. but then you see that 18 there that's 2018 so that's like super new unfortunately it's gorgeous though i just wish it was older and where are you, little girl? That is a Boyd's Bears in France. And um, also, um, how did I, I miss this entire sign the first time around? <laughs> so that makes me look a little more. And this is a really sweet little Lennox tree tea light holder, and it has the box and everything. So this would be like a really cute addition to like. Uh, I don't know, a teacher gift or something. I'm thinking about it. And if, in fact, it's a dollar, then what? And this, I wish... Oh, there we go. Oh, look, false graph. It's everywhere. But uh, that's 19.99, so that answers all of my questions. Look, there's another one but no box, so I'll just take the one in the box. I'm just, now I'm looking, now that I know it's half price, and since I completely missed the half off sign the first time, made in China. Nothing looks old. I wanna, oh, that's another Schmidt music box. I'm trying to see, I wanna get to this little basket thing in the back. Nothing, that's definitely a hobbyist piece, but it's not marked with a year. Guys, if you do hobbyist pieces, please put years on them so that 60 years from now, people find them and know when you made them. Appreciate you. All right. Is this old? No, it's the opposite of old. These are so cute. These gotta be old, right? They have to. And they're $3 for the pair. That's gorgeous. And uh, I don't wanna spoil the surprise, but so that was a pretty fantastic trip. Fantastic trip to the barn. And now I'm at the house and they have a sale going on all clothes are buy one get one and i'm seeing a cute cute couple of things here i think so we're gonna yeah we're gonna go ahead and look around a little bit i like this guy too Can a boy wear that? A boy can wear that, right? Um, what are, what's up? Five. 
those would be high waters on him. How about these? Six. Of course, they're the ones I like the least, but whatever. How about here? Too big. Too small. It's like Goldilocks, only different. These are, this is a whole set. How much is this? I mean, what size is this? There's no tags. Man. Uh, hard to tell. Hard to tell. But I think that looks just about right, actually. So, oh. Oh, that's like girls, but I feel like that would fit me as a shirt. <clears throat> These look long. See, now I'm taking up all my time doing this. This looks big too. Yeah, 10, 12, but that is so cute. What's this? 14. Man. All the big, the cute stuff is too big. Four. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is a four. I'm trying to compare. Um. It's bigger. Oh, hi. Oh my gosh, they have such cute little girls' clothes here. I can't even stand it. Perfect. He like barely has anything red. Would you believe it? All right, let's go inside. Stop that. Stop doing that right now. So I'm just looking at some little purses here. This one looks cute. Very 90s to me, I feel like. Made in China. It's cute though. It's a little snowman purse. Sure, that's what that says. L U L U. Well, aren't you schnazzy? I don't even think I could do that, honestly. I don't even think I would rock that. Old school chaps. Well, um, that was fine. That was fine for what it was. I got several of the buy one get one free clothes and I got myself a sweater which is handmade it's it's a hundred percent wool I'll show it to you guys obviously in the haul but um she was trying to charge me for a jacket which I understand because I'm it, you know it's a hand knit sweater but anyway she's like you don't want to go find another jacket because it's buy one get one free and I was like I looked, I couldn't find anything. So she's like, all right, I'll give it to you for four. We're not supposed to, but I'll give it to you for four instead. So cool, which is fine considering it's a sweater. It's not a jacket, but anyway, because <laughs> they have their, you know, their prices are set, but it's gorgeous. It's, it must've taken somebody ages to make, 
I always tell you guys, I have no idea about that stuff, but it looks very labor intensive and it's gorgeous. So I picked that up and then a whole bunch of like fun Christmas items, clothing for little man, which is great at buy one, get one free. They worked out to be like a dollar each. So um, that's great. And then the stuff I got from the barn is um, absolutely amazing. So all together between both places, I spent a little over $30, which is crazy if you see what I got. But anyway, all right. So I'm just in time to go pick up little man and uh, go back home and regroup and redress and all of that for the whatever is going on tonight at Greek school, the Christmas something that they're doing. So I need Starbucks. Um, so until the next one from me, guys, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you. And if you would be so kind as to hit that subscribe button, if you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. So, all right. So we are um, actually headed back to the church and the hospital thrift stores, if at all possible. Um, it is Friday, so it's their uh, last day open because neither one of them is open on the weekend. And the hospital one is actually also closed Monday, Tuesday. Um, so I figured I would just swing by. They advertised yesterday on Facebook this Pyrex set um, for a pretty fair price. I don't. I couldn't tell how big it was though. It, it looked like fridges, printed patterned fridges um, in the Americana pattern. But anyway, <laughs> uh, they, they posted it yesterday. I don't know if it's still there. We shall see. But um, do I have a ton to film for you, haul-wise? I do, tons. Um, I've just been delayed. A little man is homesick. Brett just came home on his break and I'm like, can I just run out for a second? Cause I've been like cooped up in the house for three days and I just, just need a little while. He's only home for like an hour and a half. So, you know, I just wanted to get out a little bit, get some fresh air, get a change of scenery, but I do need to wrap presents today. I need to um, hopefully do blessings by mail also because it is sitting there and it's taking up a lot of room. So I do have a lot to do. We will see what, I, what, I, what I'm able to manage, but I do have to do it because Christmas is right around the corner and I host Christmas Eve and I need everything to be all nice and perfect and empty. So got a lot of stuff to do today, but let us let me just go have a little bit of fun first and uh, I'll meet you guys inside. Let's go to the hospital one first. And I do have my light with me today. Miracles do happen. So I'm going to be highly selective today, though. I reorganized my china cabinet yesterday. I spent about an hour taking everything out, packaging it up, boxing it up until my cabinets get built either in the basement or my kitchen gets redone. And uh, But I made my china cabinet all pretty and I have my uranium display on the right and my other pretty pieces on the left. So anyway, I did a lot. But I am gonna be super selective today. So let's, uh, let's go see what happens. All right, let's go in. Um, yesterday was their crazy bric-a-brac sale. So <sighs> maybe I missed out on some great things, but we'll see, let's go in. So they put out this brand new basket of ornaments that they did not have. And there's a whole bunch of these Mickey and Disney ones. I feel like someone would love these. I mean, it's not my jam. And if I was a reseller, I probably would. Probably, I would think. But they're not They're not my thing. My thing tends to be kept over here. Ooh, and we have a lot more than we did last time too. What is this? What is happening here? Sorrento. The place or a person? I'm thinking the place. And oh, look, there's a whole little glass nativity inside. This is insane. All ornaments are 75 cents, by the way. This is crazy. All right. Let me see. I'm going to put this right here. And there's this box. Oh, this, I just got my mom this Lennox one for $3.50. 75 cents here dang it all right you for sure are coming home with me there you go you lay down right there all 
Remember those? Remember these flamingos? They were four dollars on the table last week. Now they're seventy-five cents because they had broken ankles. Is this old? It doesn't have any markings. I'm not really sure. And this has no markings. I feel like it's new. All right, let's go over here. This is where I find some good stuff. Oh man, Grandma 07, Grandma 10. Sorry. Someone got done dirty. I pick this one up every time I'm here. I do. <laughs> this is new, right? Pretty sure this is new. Yeah. And that's the one without the top. I'm starting to memorize them at least. And this is the one with the, the loose top I just refused to buy. And now we have moved on. Again, remember yesterday was their 50% off bric-a-brac. So I'm sure anything good is gone. Look, they have so much glassware. I feel like they're never going to sell this. What is this? You're new. Fish is Eddie. This is like a $20 mug. But I'm being good. I'm being super selective, remember? Taking a peek down here. I can't believe this strawberry set is still here. It's fin or tomato, tomato, it's tomato, I think. It's uh, French, it's amazing. This is, I think this is um, Anchor Hawking avocado glass, and it's pretty cool, but that looks like it's a chip. I have skipped this so many times, but today I would have liked it for $3, but yeah, that's a giant chip right there. And there. Dang it. That would have had a smaller one and the, the rack that's always missing to hold the dip on top. Oh, you're cute. You're brand spanking new though, made in China. And huh. nothing. Oh, you're the other one. They're salt and pepper. Here you go. There you go. Think they have any cut go? <laughs> No, they don't even have any knives. What's that? No. Okay, so I found a couple of cool things, literally a couple, and spent $3.50. See, that's what happens. Anyway, um, I'm sure because it was the day after their crazy bric-a-brac sale i missed out on some stuff but that's fine and we are going to head to the church the barn in the house now let's see if that pyrex is still there and let's see how i feel about it if it is so we're six minutes away let's go in well the six minute drive here turned into like i don't even know 15 with the with the traffic but let's go in um we are at the church barn and house. Uh, there is the barn. And we are going to go check it out and see if that Pyrex is still there and all of that stuff. So let's go in and see what happens.
All right, we're inside the actual barn now. This clay piece looks really nice, but then I see made in China. So I was fooled. I thought it was handmade. And this looks really nice as well with a very smooth pontal. Could that be Murano? It really could be. But I am not good at this. There's this lion, but it is very uh, rough. All the lines are very rough, which shows kind of poor quality. And for five dollars, that's a it's a little steep. They're always adding new things, so I'm trying to see what was not here or that I didn't notice last time. I don't see the Pyrex, but dang it. All right, I want to look down here at these like white, almost milk glass mixing bowls. So this one is only a dollar and it is unmarked which makes it slightly unattractive to me. And then, just double checking these. No, I'm not interested in these, but there is this big milk glass looking mixing bowl back here. I wanna get a better look at this. This whole pile is in the way though. Oh no, please don't fall. No, 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 no. Geez, they want $10 for the boat, side note. Okay, let me get, there's a bowl in it. Let's get that out. All right, so they want five for this. And it's not even marked. So, no, I think I'll skip that. The same stuff hasn't sold, <laughs> if you're noticing. This I see every time too, but it's unmarked. It's very cute though. It looks very mid-century. Let's see if there's anything new in this corner. No. And this is definitely catching my eye. Just the shape and the color also looks very mid-century to me for $4. But that's a, look at that little girl on the plaque. Um, That's just a big piece. It is here, guys. It is here. It was there. I'm so excited. Okay, um, I'm not even going into the house. This was so good. I, I'm I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna go home now, and I'm gonna film, and I'm gonna put things away, and I'm gonna do all the super important things. Now they will be closed. Um, both locations, the hospital one and this one, from the 23rd to the 5th. So, although um, I did remember Salvation Armies that I haven't been to in a good seven years so we might be checking those out in the interim but for now let's go home and let's get on with these holes